Okay, so let's go to the first part of the, 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 the that is how to integrate different computations in, in, in PyCom's work. No? So the motivation is that well, the, the complex workflows are composed by the execution of different software. And when you try to do this with a normal uh, 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 workflow engines or, or, or things, what you have to do, it's dedicating a lot of time to uh, to implement glue codes to integrate these different uh, softwares. And also what we try to, to provide is a reusable way to describe this software execution so you can easily uh, reuse the, the what you have implemented for one workflow to another one. So, so just a, first an overview of what is uh, Python. Well, it is Python is a programming a task based uh, programming model uh, that is uh, based on, on, on Python sequential programming. And we are giving the the the, uh, the, the view for the user as you have a, 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 a shared address space. So you you even you are executing the, the things in, in in the distributed system, you can program the the the, the workflows as you were programming a, a sequential Python script. And the only thing that you have to add modeless is the, to, to, to use the notate the Python functions with some decorators that to identify what functions are tasks and what is the directionality of the data if there is input parameters or output parameters or in out parameters. So with this information and when we have the Python annotated code, uh, the uh, comes runtime is analyzing the different uh, task executions and creating uh, dynamically a task graph of the with the with the data dependencies between the different task executions. The runtime is uh, scheduling this and managing all the transfers and uh, and hiding the complexity of doing the, the the remote executions of the different tasks. The synthesis is uh, agnostic to the computing platform, so you can. Uh, do the same application even for running in clusters or for cloud or container uh, managed clusters, whatever. So here you have an example of, of uh, a task annotation and also a workflow that is doing a matrix multiplication by blocks. So, and for instance, from this code, when we have the, uh, we the, the set that multiply is the task, we are generating this, this graph that we are basically detecting which parts are uh, depending on uh, which task executions are depending and creating the task graph. And as you can see, the runtime can detect that all, all these tasks can run in parallel. So how we have uh, integrated different uh, external software in this uh, PyCom's environment. So the idea was to have uh, a software catalog where we have the different software descriptions. And the software mm -hmm. descriptions uh, is composed by, by the installation description that we will use for the container image creation and another description that is how we invoke uh, a, a, a software. So for this, we have defined a, a JSON template where we specify uh, what kind of execution is and what are the properties and, and possible and, and other definitions. So with this, what we can do is we can create uh, just a, a representative uh, task in the in the workflow, defining just a, a method and annotating this method with the add software uh, decorator and uh, passing the, uh, the the JSON file that describes the execution. So and we can call in the in the workflow as we call a, a normal Python function. So what is doing the runtime? It's uh, from this description. It is generating some code that is executed by the uh, com runtime transparently to the user in the computing infrastructure. So the, the nice thing is that if you want to reuse the same software in another workflow, you just need to uh, create uh, the same function in the other workflow, but you don't need to program anything else. You just uh, include the, this description in another workflow. So more or less, uh, what? What we have 
the finite is that well, the, the, we have the type of execution and the, and the properties that is the mandatory part. And then there is some kind of, of prologue or epilogue executions that are what are the commands that you can run uh, before or after the execution. Then we have the a constraints part that to specify what are the resources that are required for an execution. And also, if you uh, already have this uh, software in a container, you can specify what is the container that is uh, providing the, the, the execution. So uh, with this information, the runtime will create the, the, the execution for the, uh, in, the, in the infrastructure. So more or less the supported types uh, until now is that we can execute some whatever binary, binary sequential binary file and also uh, um, and, um, also parallel uh, binaries that has some internal parallelism uh, in a in a single node. So uh, with threads or OpenMP, we can also uh, support MPI executions. We support both. Uh, uh, M MPI binaries that you can run different uh, processes in different uh, nodes, but we also provide uh, uh, Python MPI tasks. In, in this case, what we have is uh, uh, we have the annotation software, and then we will have the implementation of the Python MPI inside the, the function. And we also have the MPMD MPI that uh, in this case we can execute different. Uh, MPI binaries in the same uh, uh, MPI uh, uh, world. So, and also uh, other properties are the constraints and epilogue that we have to specify what is the binary that we execute and param. So, also what we can do is to in the in this definition we can refer to some task parameters uh, with this uh, with uh, this syntax. So, and we can use in, in the different execution type properties and the epilogue or prologue uh, parameters. And we can also refer to environment variables that are defined uh, uh, before the execution of, of the workflow. So, and this can be used uh, in also in the, in the constraints and the container definition. So just uh, to give you an example about how it works. Uh, so here, uh, this is one of the cases that we are studying for the, 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 uh, the, the project. And here is an example of an MPMD, uh, MPI execution. And here we put that this is this type. And we can specify the processes per node uh, as an environment variable. We have to specify what is the runner for the MPI. We can specify a working deal and also refer to, uh, to one of the parameters of the task. And here we define the programs that we have to execute. The, so for instance, the, the number of processes for the some execution and uh, some parameters that you specify in the task or uh, the process that you, uh, uh, you, you specify for the open IFS execution and the binary that has to be executed and the parameters. So with this, you uh, create the, this uh, definition of the software uh, that you, you have this simulation. You don't have to, to uh, implement anything. You just that this is the, the kind of execution that will be generated by the, by the, the runtime and, and execution, but you don't need to, to specify it. And in the workflow, you can uh, create some kind of sort some kind of workflow where you have, uh, you involve with different configurations, you run a simulation, you post process, and then you evaluate all the results of the different simulations. This will be a, a very simple uh, example of, of how to use the, the ad software in a, in a workflow. So here we can see other examples about the, the MPI um, with prologue and, and epilogue or you can also hear a, 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 a binary execution where we use a, a constraints and we require to have a GPU to execute the, this, this thing and also the way to specify the container. And you can see also that in this case, when we use the container, what we generate is an execution that starts the container and later the, uh, the binary execution inside the ah. container. So one, 
more or less this is the the the, the first part of the of the session so you know if there are questions how do you control different versions of the same software uh, what you can have it's in the well the software catalog is a it's a it's a git repository so in this git repository you can have branches mm -hmm. tags and whatever so you can prefer when you build the, the the execution to a certain version when you create the the, the container you can you will see uh, next slide how to create the container but you can prefer to a certain tag or a certain branch of the of a, of a, of a software you can so it's a specific container for each version of for each version yeah. Yeah. yeah you can so if if the one version to the other you have the same invocation you don't need to change the invocation uh, the yes the question from Raul was the uh, how we can support different uh, versions of the same software anything else from the chat is no. Yes. Here, when we have the simulation, yes, the 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 because it's asking how uh, uh, we map the 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 parameters of the task with the with the JSON, right? So here, for instance, we have. Uh, for the working date of this execution, what we have to be passed by uh, a parameter one. of the. This is only one yeah. yeah. Yes. For instance, in the parameters, we want to pass the parameters that we mm -hmm. specify in the function here as a parameters of the JSON. This is the way that we refer in the JSON to a parameter that has to be <laughs> specified in the in the in the definition of the function. So here, when we pass this uh, CFD uh, session param, will be passed to the to the MPI MP, MP, MPI execution. And the log, well, the log is not in the case. No, the log is it's a it's a yeah. This is an special annotation of PyComs to specify that this will be uh, the out uh, this file will redirect the output of the of the execution. So STD out is that. We want to log will store the output of the of the execution. 